This is Last Chance Kitchen, presented by BMW. Lisa, Nini, one of you is about to go home, and one of you will cook against Karen for a shot at the title of Top Chef. Okay, there was one dish that I think just did a little better, sort of bringing those two combinations together. That's Nini. Lisa, you had a great run. Yes, I did. Awesome. Thank you, Chef. Thanks. Appreciate it. Yeah, I'll see you soon. Yep. You, you can leave the kitchen. Thanks. I did this 13 seasons ago. It's been an incredible ride. It's been a great experience. I've met some incredible chefs, but I think I'm going to just go back to Brooklyn, focus on my restaurant, teach my little baby nephew how to cook. You know, I'll just, I'll just watch Top Chef from a distance. All right, this is the big one. This is it. Tonight, one of you is earning your spot right back into the competition. It's weird to go up against Karen, who I love, but I have a second chance to like prove that I have what it takes to win Top Chef. This is it, there is no tomorrow. And you'll get another chance at the title of Top Chef, and of course, that $250,000 grand prize. I left my family, two businesses. I left my spouse. I think I went out way too soon. I need to fight tooth and nail to get back into the competition. There's really nothing like Top Chef. You know, the challenges are tough. The elimination's even tougher. Once you go through this and you know how hard it is, it's one of those things where you can't explain it to other chefs until they've actually done it. But the one neat thing about being part of Top Chef is just the sense of family. You're part of the Top Chef family. So for tonight's challenge, cooking family meal. Oh, cool. All right. For everybody and yourselves. Hmm. You're gonna eat right here. Family meal in restaurants is staff meal, so I am definitely not going to make steak again. Ah. Oh no. As we know, in restaurants for family meal, sometimes we're thrifty. We use odds and ends. We use whatever we can because we don't want to waste food. And also, sometimes we have themes. We have taco night sometimes, and other nights it's pasta night, you know. So feel free to make whatever you like. So this to me feels like a lot of freedom. It's like, oh, I can bring in, you know, flavors and foods that maybe, you know, we wouldn't typically have for family meals. Make as many dishes as you like, serve family style. You have 45 minutes to cook, and your time starts now. My shoes are slippy. I want this so badly, and it also really sucks to have to compete against one of my best friends here. But I know she's not gonna stop fighting, and I know I'm not going to either. Hey. Oh. Hey, Lee. Peanut in the house. Welcome, Welcome to the peanut gallery. To Anyone making dessert? You know what? I got time for that. <laughs> Nini, what do you got? Chicken. I'm gonna make a chicken curry. Chicken curry? Oh. Yeah. That's a family meal favorite always. Yes. I'm gonna make three dishes, but they are meant to be eaten all together. Rice, green mango salad, and a chicken curry with delicata squash. It's gotta be cooked right. Chicken gotta be cooked right. You know there's other curry paste, right, Nini? I like the canned one the most. The thing that's gonna take the most time is going to be my chicken curry. I want the curry to cook long enough that the fat separates because that's a good sign of a good curry. I'm just gonna make one of all of my failed dishes. Ah, nice. Yeah, I thought that was a smart move. I'm excited for that. I feel really lucky that I see two beautiful bronzino. I'll either grill them or I'll fry them and make kind of a salad and a salsa verde and keep it just like really bright and herbaceous and light. Almost nothing is more communal than sharing, you know, like a whole fish together. Oh, are you okay? Her, her ankles and knees are not good. You all right, Karen? I'm less scared of hurting myself and more scared of hurting myself enough that I can't keep cooking because there are a lot of people that sacrificed for me to be here right now. Ooh, I'm loving what I'm seeing right now. Work that bourbon. Aww. How you doing? Hey, 
Pretty good. How are you doing? Good. Got some whole fish. A little whole fish. What else are you making? Uh, I am making some roasted fennel ubriaco with a little balsamic vinegar. Okay. Anybody making pasta? I'm gonna try. I've got about 25 minutes on the clock, and I want to try and get a third dish done. I decide that I'm going to try and make fresh pasta. Oh, you're making pasta. Oh, when I said making pasta, I, you know, I mean family meal. You don't make pasta yet. You get a box. Okay. We'll see. Please. Someone grab the serving utensils. Nini, what do you got? Hi. Oh, look at this. I'm making green curry, chicken curry. Something that... You know why she didn't make curry? Because Padma's not here. I know, right? My curry standards aren't nearly as high. No. I'm making some rice to go with that okay. because I feel like that's like quintessential to family meal. Of course. And then um, I'm making a mango salad. Okay, nice. Will you guys get the table ready? Yeah, we got this for you. You know, I'm going really fast. I didn't weigh out my flour. My dough's not coming together. This is like a really, this was not, this is not a good idea. All right, I made a bouquet. That's a great idea. This is family meal, guys. Nene, what you got going on there? I'm making like a concentrated milk mum. Nice. Chilies, garlic, a little sugar. I am really not focused on what Nini's doing. I do think when she says she's making curry, I think, oh, I'm definitely not going to win because I know her food and I know how good that curry is going to be. You got 14 minutes left. 14. Karen went with dried pasta. She didn't yeah, finish it. Yeah. Nini, what are you doing with that paste? Um, this is a sauce. And it's gonna toss the, I'm gonna toss the mango salad with that. Nice. Let's hope I finish. Tom, surprising to no one, it did not work for me to make my own pasta. Oh, no, but you, you don't get dinged for that on this, it's family meal. No, I know, but it was on the docket. <laughs> So I'm making alio y olio con pomodoro, which is garlic and olive oil with tomato, a little bit of parsley. It's a super simple sauce. I make this at my house all of the time. It looks beautiful, it tastes beautiful, and it just makes a lot of sense for a family meal. What decree is this fryer at? I decide that I'm going to fry the bronzino. I do this at the restaurant, I think, Perfectly frying a whole fish is absolutely delicious. As long as you don't overcook it, I think that it comes out really, really beautiful. Four minutes and 45 seconds. I lost. No way, dude. Yeah. I'm struggling. I'm done. I get to my chicken to get ready to plate it, and I see it's completely scorched on the bottom. Come on, Nene, keep smiling, keep smiling. I'm done, I'm done, guys. Tom definitely seen the burnt pot, so I don't know how he's gonna judge this. You got 250. 250, heard. It's all black. Yo, pull the chicken. Pull it if you can. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, why did she do that? How did she do that? The chicken's not burned, but the curry is scorched. And I grab the chicken right from the top where it's simmered, and it has some brown on it, but just like as if it just gently like roasted. I've already burned so many things in this kitchen, and this is the one that I'm like, oh. Just don't the stir whole, it. The whole bottom part is it. just torched. I don't know if I can recover from this one. Two minutes, chefs. Heard. Win, lose, or draw, if I can't pull this off, then I at least want to go out and be remembered in a way that I made a beautiful dinner for everybody. 30 seconds, 30 seconds, chefs. I season the sauce again, and it doesn't taste burnt. It actually tastes pretty good. Five, four. We'll see. I mean, it's almost like a Hail Mary right now. Two. One. One. Good job. This is the nicest family meal I've ever seen. So, Nini, what did you make? I made a green curry chicken with delicata squash, um, a green mango salad to go on top with jasmine rice to balance it out. Karen? Crispy bronzino with salsa verde, arugula salad, and grilled lemon. Elio yolio con pomodoro pasta, and some balsamic roasted fennel. Okay, great. Dig in, let's go. Thank you, chefs. Go. Is there the spine in there? Still? Yeah. Do you want some rice? 
Sure. Let's try that. Why did you go to Curry for Family Meal? Whenever I'm in charge of a family meal, they always want something Southeast Asian. And what better way to utilize like scraps than to throw it all in a curry? Nini, I know you're upset about the curry. It doesn't taste burnt. It doesn't. You saved it. Yeah. Whew. Yeah, you didn't stir it, and that was the smartest thing you could have done. It just slid right out. You saved it, girl. Yeah. I thought it was delicious. Um, I was a little worried. No, no I was shocked. Because when I saw, when I looked in the pan, and you were like, I'm done, I'm done. I'm like, she's done. What do you mean she's done? Yeah. Chicken's done. Of course it's done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was like, oh, you have plenty of oh. time. I feel like your mango salad is, is so integral, eating it with the chicken. So why did you go with fish? I want fish because to me, whole fish is like the epitome of communal eating. Mm -hmm. I want to sit together, I want to eat the fish, I want to eat the eyeballs and pick out the little cheeks. And that to me is coming together and eating family style. And then that salsa verde just really brought it all together. Your fennel is really nice too. You like mm -hmm. it? It has like great caramelization yeah. and still like good texture, but cooked like all the way. Thank you. It's really nice. I wish you guys would eat. I feel I like I'm going to throw up. Yeah. Really? Yes. <laughs> that was a, a rough word from it. I'm like, am I going to get this done? Everything's Stop. delicious. I'm glad I don't have Tom's job this right is now. Hard. Yeah. I can't. This is tough. I'm going to be sad if I lose. I'm going to be happy for her if she wins. But at the end of the day, if it has to be somebody, I'm glad that it's one of us. Wow. Okay. I, I got to say that was that was really fantastic. First of all, this is fun. You know, there was a good spirit in here. The dishes were really good. Really simple food, but really, really good. The curry, tons of flavor. Chicken was, you know, cooked the way that curry should be cooked. It was sweet, it was spicy. You had the mango salad, which was also really, really nice. Tart and sweet at the same time. Karen, pasta dish, straightforward. Executed really well. Kind of something you need to put out there for family meal. The fennel, which was also really nice. And then the fish. I liked they didn't dip it in batter, you didn't flour, you don't have to. And of course, the salsa verde was great. It's a tough one. Obviously, the winner's going back into the competition. So what I'm doing is I'm going to what I thought was the best dish on the table. Karen, you're back into the competition. <laughs> I was really ready to give up. I was angry, tired, upset, and frustrated. And I win. <laughs> and I'm back into the competition. And no matter what happens going forward, I think that takes it as my proudest moment on Top Chef. I haven't wanted anything that bad in a long time. <laughs> That fish dish was fantastic. Thank you. There was a clarity to it. It was perfectly cooked. It was crispy on the outside. Um, usually at family meals, that precision we don't usually get, but that was, that was just spot on. I'm really happy for Karen. We're both fighters, and we knew coming in to LCK, like, only one of us is going to come out of this. I am a little sad that it's not me, but I can definitely understand why. I mean, I burnt a lot of things in here. <laughs> Nini, this was so close. Here's the deal. You're back in Last Chance Kitchen. It's not over for you yet. Girl, you come back. You still, you still can do it. And you can get back in it, and you keep cooking like this, you're going to be tough. Thank you. We'll see you soon. Yeah, see you and soon. I'll see you back in Last Chance Kitchen. Thank you, sir. Last Chance Kitchen, again, is that bad boyfriend that you just can't get rid of. Last year, I definitely remember saying, like, boy, bye. And now a guest is like, boy, hello. You're the queen of the kitchen now. No. Yes, you are. You are. You're the queen of the I kitchen. I hand you my, my golden spoon. <laughs>